na na na. It's yellow. It's blue. It's yellow. It's blue. It's yellow. It's blue. It's Super Mario Galaxy 2. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 ho. I'm troll Oh, howdy guys. What's up? It's Nintendo Capri Sun. And we're troll o as we play Super Mario Galaxy 2. How many one ups are we going to get this time before we stop bumping on his head? Mario, you got a letter from Princess Peach! Mario! Hey, Mario. Wait, Ma Princess Peach, I'm supposed to get the... Oh, never mind. Alright, five one-up mushrooms. Aw, oh, once she's kidnapped, she's so thoughtful. So even Bowser is nice enough to give the princess a post office box. So we got some cleaning up to do. What do you say we go do with them? Apparently... And, uh... I don't know how I didn't notice this, but I never got the second star in Chomp Works. I also never opened up the Hungry Luma Galaxy in World 5. So, that's two things we we're gonna have to do today. Spring into the Chomp Works! You know what that means. We get to hear, uh... The da 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 That music. We get to hear it again. Yay, because I haven't picked up this power-up yet in the LP. So, instead of going down the hill, I'm gonna long jump! Woo! Alright. Yay! So happy! Spring Mario! Look at him go! Oh, he's so clumsy! Oh. Woohoo! Without Spring Mario, you can't get up this hill, so don't even try. Oh, get ready to some star bits, star bits, star fox, star bits, star fox, star bits, the armory, the bakery, the armory, the bakery, the armory, the bakery. What's up? Bring it on! Give me your worst! No, not this guy again. Now, you could pick up the spring power up to get across this long wall. Or you could just do this. <laughs> not that! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it is possible to do this without without the spring power-up at all. And I pr actually prefer to do it without the spring power-up, because the spring power-up is so difficult to control! And, uh, here we go. So then you just get on here, do this, and wall jump, and you can get up here this way. And this one's actually even easier than the last one is. But trying to get across this as a spring Mario, you just don't even want to imagine. Don't fall. Thank you. There, see? See how easy that is? I mean, oh my gosh, man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man! Oh. Now we're gonna have to use the Spring Mario here, so... Because for some reason, there's a... Like an invisible barrier when you get on these platforms and you can't go up and down. Or you can't go down off the platform or something. It's almost like a pinball machine, I guess. Yahoo! Woohoo! God, Mario, you're so happy today. Oh, this thing is so hard to control. Okay, here we go. Up. Up. No, no, no. Up. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, dude, my TV just went crazy over there. It's my video camera. Boy, I love these sound effects of this thing. There you go. And there's your star. Hell yeah. I've been singing some stupid things along with that music, like, HELL YEAH! And missing the note, and like, like Bob Seger and all that. <sighs> missing the note like Bob Seger. Because they got this song they play at work by Bob Seger, I swear I've never heard it anywhere else in my life, but they play it at work like every freaking day! And it's, it's like that one where he's like, IN YOUR TIME! But, but he misses the note, he's like, IN YOUR TIME! Or something. It just seems that way, because you hear it a million times, you start to notice it. So. He doesn't really miss the note, but well. Wait, wait, wait. This is a, a, a spring, huh? So you wear that? Does it make a big boing sound when you poke it? Har har. Oh, that was the wrong voice. My bad. The game has been saved. Let's go outside. We've just about maxed out our collection here. So it's, oh, man, I can't even jump over my own hat. Gee, that's terrible. Alright. Let's get back up to the pilot seat. Now the comets are starting to appear around here. Hey, how'd you get out here? Alright, so that's done. Basically, we'll come back for the comet. Oh, the Prankster comet. For that world sometime later. I don't think I have enough star... Oh, wait, maybe I do. Damn. Okay, well, let's, let's go ahead and do it then. Call! I see you're hungry, Luma, and I raise you 1,500 star bits. Yes. 
Talk to me, baby. All right. Here we go. Nom 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 Behold, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most frustrating freaking galaxies in the entire game. And the hardest combat medal in the entire game to pick up. Let me tell you something, I practiced this and I must have died 50 times. I'm not even kidding, 50 times at least. Like, I, I had two different practice sessions, one of which I'm sure I died at least 20 times, and the other, a couple days ago, where I'm, I died at least 30 more. I had like five game overs. And on one of those, I stopped and went and spent 200 coins on the chance cubes to get extra lives, so I wouldn't get game over, so there wouldn't be so much of a delay in between each group of five lives. And a couple of those times, I got the five one-ups, so I probably died more like 70 or 80 times. But I'm telling you, it's so hard. I don't know why. I just can't do this. But we're gonna try. So you basically have two things you want to do in this level. Number one is to get the common medal. The other is to finish the race. Preferably both in one go. So here's the first one. Now the second... Oh shit, I already screwed it up. Oh, dude, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> it's so funny when you bounce back after you die. Just how... Oh, okay, good, I don't have to pick up the thing. Alright. As you might remember from the previous puzzle level, you have to fly through all the archways to uh, to get the comet medal. But the second archway is the hardest one to get, and it's right here. It's right here, right here, right here. You gotta hook to the left, and right there, right there, right there! No, no, uh, what the hell? Oh my god. I'm telling you, man. Now, you might notice the second archway when it shows the level at the beginning. It shows it. That's how I found it. Otherwise, I never would have found it. I happen to see it on the introduction to the level when it shows the level. It shows that archway for like half a second. There's also this trail of star bits. I guess that's how you're supposed to know to come down here. Now, uh, take your time. There you go, now. Okay. But, but and trying not to get hit is also kind of a trial. Okay, so just take your time. Well, you kind of want to go fast, too, though. Whoa, I didn't know there was a bat in here. So you don't want to get. Oh, we're going to get hit by the thwomp! No way. Oh, we survived a thwomp, man. Get the coin, get the coin. Yeah, there you go. Ow! Jeez, that's gotta hurt. No, don't hit your head. Don't lose life. Don't lose life. Don't lose life. Don't, lose, don't hit Don't hit your feet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, we're doing good here. All right. Oh, hurry, hurry. You're gonna... Oh, that thing's falling over there. Oh, my God. This is so scary. If I actually got this on the third try, that would be pretty freaking amazing, considering how many tries it took me before. Okay, there's the common metal right there. Yes! And the ship? Whose ship is that? I have no idea. Yes! Woo! Baby! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my god. I did not expect to get that in this sitting, baby. We don't even have to cut anything. Because that was only two failures. I'll just leave all that in. Besides, I've pretty much been non-stop commentating the whole freaking time. 918! Hey, we still got five minutes left. All right. It's probably, yeah, yeah, I had like a minute of dilly-dallying at the beginning of the video, too, so... We got time to do more. Almost instantly, we're going to get a letter challenging the race. Challenging us to a race in that galaxy we were just in. So... Did I not see a prankster comet over at boss? Oh, no! Oh, no! Look at what we got! Prankster comet at Chomp Works! This right here stood out to me distinctly on my first playthrough as one of the three hardest stars in the game. Race, race, there it is. So now we got the race at Fleet Glide, we got a prankster comet at Chompworks, we got a prankster comet at uh, that pumpkin galaxy. But I'm gonna go ahead and do Chompworks just so we can be done with World 4. Oh shoot, I tried to press something else to zoom out. <laughs> yeah, I must have thought I was playing something else. Anyway. Hello, sweet mystery. Nice to see you again. Yeah, this stood out to me as one of the three hardest stars in the game. And I even, even still now, it does give me quite a bit of trouble. So I haven't really had a good chance. Well, I think I did say that I practiced it and did fine on it, but I looked at my practice file and I hadn't done this star yet, so I don't know what I was talking about. 
It's not like you get a star and then it doesn't save. So I don't know what I was talking about. Maybe I was thinking of a different star. So in essence, what I'm saying, what I'm telling you right now is that I haven't really practiced this one. Or, at the very least, I haven't succeeded yet. Uh, except for the one time I did get it a few months ago. So this is Cosmic Clones, and this is what I like to do. Basically, you have to do this, or else you're not going to get this star. So go ahead and, uh... It might not be a bad idea to clear these out. But basically, get up here. And stand right here, and start walking really slowly back and forth like this. Okay. Up, down, right... Try not to get hit, but at the same time, don't go too fast. There's not as many clones as you would think. I, I think there's usually more than this. Now I'm going to zigzag because I don't have room for... Okay, see, that's all the clones there are. Now just keep going slow. Wait for the gold chomp, and then... Get the platform ready for him. Okay, now let's hurry to the... Shit. Dang it, I'm not going to have time. Oh, we might have time. Okay, alright, I guess we did. Okay, now just go slow, go slow. Yeah, like I said, no, no, no. What?! How could I have been down to one life? I didn't even get hit. Well, maybe I did. Ugh, what are you doing? Jumping in the lava, man. Man, I had it that time. What the heck? There was no lava there. That's, that's why I think you should probably clear these guys out first before you... I suppose we could... Okay, wait, here, is he? Okay, here, here. Maybe if you just go really slow, or right, like, around here. Are you kidding me? Oh, would you stop knocking me around? How can you go slow and not get hit by one of those things? They're taking up the whole freaking track. Jeez. Get out of here. I guess the key is knock him in the lava on the first hit. Okay, here. See, this is the other thing. This... Ugh, this walkway is too narrow for you to have two ways of traffic flowing on it. You know, and the comic clones are going to be going one way, which is the way that you went to get there. So, you have to take a different way back, or else they're just going to run you over. Yes! Okay, maybe, maybe that's not so bad. I don't know. Uh, okay, so, so we got it in three tries. What the hell? I was getting a little frustrated there. You might have heard that. I don't know. I always feel ashamed when I get too frustrated. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we got it. Okay, so that wasn't so bad, I guess. Maybe it's just all about practice there. I don't know. But the key is to move slow, because if you go slow, they go slow. Even though you do have to keep moving, you don't have to be moving fast. That's the thing to remember. So, there you go. 97 stars. 1997 was a good year. That was the year that, uh... I don't know. It was, just, it was a pretty exciting year. Well, Star Fox, yeah. Star Fox 64. Probably one of the most memorable things about that year. Because, like, when the game came in, like, my parents were on vacation, so I had the whole house to myself the day the Toys R Us called me and said that the game had come in. And I was so excited because I was like, oh, yes, I get to play this game all by myself. I think I missed a comment medal here. And I'm going to... Oh, shoot. We're out of time for this video. Man, I want to finish vlogging. I was telling the story there. Yeah, but what happened, basically, was my parents were, like, on vacation, and, they, and I was home alone to play Star Fox 64 by myself, and I was so excited. And then I found out they were coming back a day early, so they came back the same day that I got the game. I was, like, so mad. I was like, dude, no, don't come back. Stay away. Stay away. It's, I was in here making tapes saying I wish they'd stay away forever, but don't, don't get me started. I was immature. What can I say? See you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my God, what an episode. That was insane, man. You're crazy.